Hey, and welcome back to Smoky Ribs. I tell you what, it is a beautiful day here in South Mississippi. There ain't a cloud in the sky far as far as I can see. I mean, it is blue skies. Perfect day to fire up the grill dome. What I'm doing today is a recipe by request. One of my subscribers, Brian Williams, messaged me a while back and was wanting to know if I would do this uh, recipe that he had found online. He has done the recipe before and was uh, would like to see me do a video of it, and I accepted. So that's what we got going on. And what we're doing is a strawberry jalapeno pork rib, okay? Ribs. Uh, I'm named after ribs. So, <laughs> hey, you know, I'm not going to back down from a challenge like that. So it sounds really good. And the only thing I'm doing different outside the recipe is the recipe calls for uh, loin back or baby back ribs. I prefer spare ribs over that, so that's what I chose to go with. Same recipe, just, just a different cut of meat. All right, so hey, let's get busy. we got to do is go ahead and make a sauce. This is going to be the strawberry jalapeno sauce and there's a little bit of chopping involved. We're going to start with a, about a half a cup of onion. I got four jalapenos that I'm going to cut, seed, and um, dice up real finely and I got a couple of cloves of garlic. So let's go ahead and get started with that. What I've got going on right now is I've got about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, into that. I'm adding that one half cup of onion. All right, it looks like we're starting to go translucent with those onions. Let's go ahead and put in the garlic. Like I said, that's two cloves of garlic. Just going to sweat that for around a minute. All right, now you want to add in your jalapeno peppers. I ended up using three of the four that I had. I think that will be plenty. All right, now in this recipe, it calls for either a cider vinegar or beer. It doesn't stipulate what beer would be best. So what I found when I went grocery shopping earlier was this, this strawberry ale made right there in Covington, Louisiana, only about an hour from where I live. And so I'm thinking strawberry ale with a strawberry jalapeno sauce, what could be better? What could go better with that? So we're gonna give it a shot. But it calls to add in one half of a cup all right, there's a half a cup going in. All right, now the recipe calls for one cup of ketchup. Now I'm going in with one cup of strawberry jam. You can use strawberry preserves, strawberry jam, basically the same thing, close enough. All right, now I'm going to add in two tablespoons of a steak sauce. This is just a store brand steak sauce, and nothing fancy. It does have that familiar look, though, if you know what I mean. Now I'm going to add in two teaspoons of chili powder. All right, that's all the ingredients. I'm going to mix all this in really well, get all that jammed, and incorporate with the rest of it. And what I'm going to do from this point is I'm going to let it simmer for around 10 minutes or until it's thickened up somewhat. All right, I just got my grill dome fired up. I'm just a little under 225 degrees. I'm wanting to level out somewhere between 225 and 250 on this cook today. What I'm getting ready to do now is put a dry rub together. Very simple, very basic. And if you read the recipe, you will notice that I am doubling this recipe simply for the fact that I got two racks of ribs instead of one. All right, let's get started. It's really easy. What you wanna do is take a one half teaspoon. You wanna put one half teaspoon of cayenne pepper it's called red pepper in the recipe, but it's the same thing. All right, there's the one half of that. All right, now you want to add in one whole teaspoon of cumin. Now you want to add in one half teaspoon of garlic salt. Make sure it's garlic salt, not garlic powder. And that's it. We're just gonna simply mix this together 
and that is our rub. Okay, now as you can see, that didn't make a whole lot of rub. Normally, with two racks of ribs, I would use the biggest percentage if this thing was full. I would use, you know, probably half of it at least. So even though the recipe didn't come out and say it, I think what it's trying to tell you is to use this moderately. Cumin is a pretty strong spice, and the garlic salt could be overpowering as well if it was overdead. So basically, we're just going to treat these like you would salt and pepper. Just a light sprinkle, just to add a little flavor in there. This is two racks of spare ribs cut to the St. Louis style. I just removed the membranes off the uh, back of these, as you can see. All right, I'm gonna flip these over. Now, the actual recipe calls for baby backs or baby loin ribs, the same thing as a baby back. Me, personally, I prefer spare ribs over baby backs. I just do. I like the flavor of it better. I love baby backs, too. Don't get me wrong, but I prefer these over that. I think they cook better uh, as far as evenly and all that, but the biggest thing is the flavor. i tell you the truth. I'm not used to doing this. I'm used to really pouring on some spice. All right, I'm just taking my hands, rubbing this in somewhat, mainly to distribute it completely over all the areas here as best as possible anyway. All right, that's all she wrote. All right, I'm looking at the grill dome thermometer. I'm sitting about 230 degrees. We're gonna go ahead with it. That's about ideal. And I'm simply just gonna lay these ribs on here, just like so. Once again, I'm having to put a little bit of a bend in my ribs because of the length of them. They'll shrink up here in a little bit. All right, we're gonna close the lid. We're gonna let these go probably a good hour and a half to two hours before I even check them. All right, we've been going around two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and give these a flip. We're gonna go meat side down for a little while. We've probably got about another hour, hour and a half left on these. They're beginning to pull away from the bone, as you can see. Pretty small racks of ribs, that, but you know, I kinda like buying the smaller. They cook up really nice. We're going to do a toothpick test to make sure that these ribs are in fact done. They sure look done. Oh, look at that. Man, it's just falling through there. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this strawberry jalapeno sauce and we're fixing a plot on top and we're gonna let them go another 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna call it done. These are gonna be killer. All right, these bad boys are ready. They are super tender. We're gonna take them and place them right here on this pan. And from here, I'm gonna rest them probably not long cause I'm hungry, probably about 10 minutes. We're gonna slide these off. We're gonna close the grill dome up. Gonna wrap these in foil, bring you back in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these ribs up. Isn't that beautiful? These are still a little warm. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna stand them up. I don't wanna flip them over. They're actually easier to cut if you cut through the bone side because you can see everything better. But I'm simply just gonna do it this way and run between the bones. Just like that. All right, I'm just gonna cut me one rib out of here just so I can do a taste test. Ooh, look at that. Man, that looks good. All right, let's give it a taste. All right, let's give it a try here and see how we did. Mmm. Mmm, mm-mm. Lord have mercy. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. The ribs are just absolutely out of this world. Thank you so much, Brian Williams, for that. I really appreciate it. If you're interested in seeing some other rib videos, then how about taking a look at my most recent one outside of this one, which is the Memphis style rendezvous ribs. Just click on the little video that you see right above me here in the right hand corner. Click on that. That'll take you right to that video. All right, so far I've done a total, this is my 12th video using the Grill Dome cooker. Barbecue season is running out for people in a lot of places. Cold weather starting to set in. And so that's about the time of the year that Smoky Ribs starts doing other things. And I'm gonna be doing a, a variety of things coming up. 
next weekend I'm going to be showing you a brand new product, well brand new to me. Let me, let me get it and show it to you. This is the Cajun Rocket Pot. Now what separates this from any other pot, by the way this is a 80 quart heavy gauge aluminum. This thing is something else. Now what separates this from your average pot is the configuration on the bottom. Look at that. That's it right there, all these nodules. And I'll be explaining more in detail next week what that does and why this is a superior pot to your normal everyday 80 quart pots. It comes complete with the basket strainer as well. All right, what I'm doing next week is a, uh, a seafood boil. I'm gonna be doing shrimp, blue crab, along with potatoes, corn, uh, Koneka sausage, mushrooms. I'm putting it all in one pot. It's going to be good. We're going to put this baby to the test. All right, until next time, Smoky Ribs.